Number 8. A highly elusive error penny. This is 1960 Lincoln sent with double date, small date over large date and repunched mint mark D over D graded in mint state 66 read by PCGS. A flashy and lustrous example of this popular variety. According to David Lawrence coin auctions, the doubling is evident as a small date over large date. This is also a very wide RPM, with the secondary D far north of the primary D, actually touching the 9 of the date. It was sold for $975. Number 7. This is 1973 D. Kennedy half dollar in mint state 66. This coin is struck nearly 65% off center. Fantastic piece that should have never left the mint, this coin is dramatically struck off center enough such that the date is still visible. It fetched a sum of $1,050. Number 6. This is 1967 Kennedy half dollar in MS 67 condition. According to NGC, the year 1967 marked the first time since 1964 that the U.S. Mint confined its production to coins bearing their actual date of manufacture. The coin shortage was over, and enough of the new clad coins were in circulation that the Treasury Department no longer had to maintain its deception in striking coins of previous dates to prevent hoarding. This is almost certainly why the mintage of 1967 half dollars is so high, as the entire year was devoted to coins of that date alone. Gems are readily available through MS65, with enough MS66 coins coin certified to mostly meet the demand from advanced collectors. This gem was sold for $1,325. Number 5. Here is 1971 Lincoln cent with double die obverse. Graded in mint state 66 read by PCGS. The 1971 double die is a scarce variety with a few hundred examples known since its discovery. Although it is not as popular as the 1969 S double die, 1972 double die or other double dies in the Lincoln Cent series. This variety is also not as strong as other varieties in the series. Magnification is usually needed to spot the doubling. The doubling is strongest on the word liberty and in the words in God we trust. This MS 66 red specimen fetched a sum of $2,200. Number 4. This is 1972 Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 67 with full steps. Gorgeous gold and pastel rainbow tones grace both sides of this premium gem. According to the NGC price guide, as of October 2023, a Jefferson Nickel from 1972 in circulated condition is worth between 10 cents and 20 cents. However, on the open market 1972 Nickels in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $150. MS67 gems are scarce and sell for good money. For instance this superb gem was sold for $2,500. Number 3. Here is 1985 P. Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 67 with full steps. The 1985 P. Jefferson Nickel is fairly common in most grades. Only in MS 65 full steps condition does it become scarce. In MS 67 with full steps it is very tough to locate. PCGS reports just 6 FS specimens in this lofty grade with just a single finer. This one was sold for $3,450. Number 2. This is 2000 Sacagawea dollar from Cheerios cereal box. Famous Cheerios dollar that was struck from a special reverse die hub and the coins were only dispensed in Cheerios boxes for a special promotion. Once discovered the promo ended and the few known are very rare. Main distinguishing detail is the enhanced motifs on the tail feathers of the eagle. This specimen was sold for $6,250. Number 1. And this is 1915 S. Lincoln sent in MS66 red condition. Rare gem S. Mint that is nearly impossible to locate with the red designation. Beautiful golden surfaces with a light reddish patina. Gorgeous with amazing eye appeal. With just single finer graded by PCGS, it is certainly one of the toughest registry quality pieces to acquire. It fetched a sum of $24,000. Thanks for watching this video. Please, don't forget to hit thumbs up before you watch another video. Stay well and God's will, see you in the next episode.